This is The Radio Nurse, designed by Isamu Noguchi for Zenith Radio Corporation, and it was the world's first baby monitor. The shape is similar to a human head, with a convenient handle at the bottom that is also a part of the base. A dial under the chin controls the volume. In 1932, the kidnapping and murder of Charles Lindbergh's son shocked the nation and caused a media storm. The result was a rise in parental concern for their children's safety. Zenith's co-founder and president, Eugene F. McDonald Jr., developed the monitor to look after his daughter while on the family's yacht. There were two parts of the monitoring system, similar to technology still used today. The guardian ear transmitter that would be placed in the child's bedroom and the radio nurse receiver that stayed with the parents. Japanese-American sculptor Isamu Noguchi was tapped to design the radio nurse, and it was one of his earliest industrial commissions. Noguchi was an internationalist. He was born in Los Angeles and moved with his Irish-American mother to Japan, where his father lived, until he relocated back to the United States in 1918 for high school. He attended Columbia University's pre-medical program before leaving to become a sculptor. Throughout his life, he traveled the world and worked in a variety of media, including ceramics, architecture, landscaping, furniture, and set design. There are a few interpretations of the design of the radio nurse. The overall shape appears similar to a nurse with a style of cap worn in the early 20th century. The outline of the transmitter is akin to a woman's bob cut, which became a popular hairstyle at the time as well. We also see the influence of Noguchi's own familial heritage in the design. The front piece resembles a mask used in the Japanese martial art of Kendo, an activity Noguchi himself practiced while living in Japan as a child. The design of the radio nurse is very much a product of its time. The interwar period of the early 20th century saw the rise of technological and mechanical progress, which was reflected in the Art Deco movement. It was also the advent of the industrial designers that made mass-produced items that were both practical and aesthetic. A great artistic example of the fascination with the mechanical would be the German expressionist science fiction film Metropolis in 1927. The radio nurse, with its abstract human head, served as an electrical and mechanical nanny for its host family to share a portion of childcare.